hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am back with another video and this time as you guys can see we are doing an extra 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 long set of nails so i am using sorry i already prepped the nail i forgot to start recording but i already prepped the nail so i pushed the cuticles back and removed the shine from the natural nail with a 180 sanding band and i was using the scarlet um, nail drill by melody susie and then now i'm just going in and applying the nail tips with my kds glue and as you can see with these tips they're super super long i got these from amazon and i'll be sure to leave the link down below for you guys but i think they were like ten dollars and it comes with just a few um little bags in it and yeah so i'll be sure to leave the link below but yeah so i am gonna cut these down a little bit because of course they are like extremely long um but they're still gonna be long and then i know it's gonna be a lot going on but throughout or while i wasn't working so during a quarantine um she would send me pictures of things that she might want and then today when she came i'm like what you know what are you gonna get and she's like girl let's just do a little bit of everything so we just like literally put together uh or did like one nail uh from each picture uh so that's what you're gonna be seeing today but again i'm just going in and applying the nail tips with the kds glue as always make sure that the nail tips fit exactly from sidewall to sidewall making sure they're not too big or too small again literally from sidewall to sidewall Alrighty, so now I'm just going in and trimming down the nails to her desire length. I'm just using a tip cutter and you can find this one on Amazon. And then also, as you can see for this hand, I did cut down the two nails that you can see with the clip on because I accidentally applied them on crooked. So make sure that when you're applying the nail tips, you hold their nails and their, or their hand and their um, finger really, really straight so that does not happen to you. But if it does, just go ahead and cut them all the way down. I grabbed a cotton ball soaked it in acetone and applied it on the nail with the little clip and now i'm going in and just cutting down the size to kind of shape them into a coffin shape and then with my 100 100 nail file i'm going to go ahead and shape up the nails of course i'm going in at a 90 degree angle on the sides and the free edge um, to of course get that coffin shape and also with them being so long make sure that you hold the nail as you're doing this that way the nail does not just move all over the place even though these are not flimsy at all but but, you know their nail bed kind of still moves as you're doing this so make sure that you hold it so you don't hurt them um, but yeah so same thing as any other time going in at a 90 degree angle on the sides and the free edge making sure you don't overfile on either side so the nail is not crooked so make sure that you are watching your shape change as you're doing this um and then also i know a lot of people in um or in the comments on my instagram were wondering how long this set took me so actually it took me three yeah it took me three hours um the reason why it took so long was because she had acrylic on her nails already um, before she came so i had to remove those and then start the new set so i think if it wasn't for that it would have took like two hours and 30 minutes which usually i book all of my clients for an hour and 30 minutes but then the clients that get like super long nails i book them for two hours but with us doing so much um it took me like an additional 30 minutes um but again we're just gonna go in and reshape or shape the nails up um, but remember that when you're doing a coffin shape, it's all about the way that you hold your file. You want to do exactly a 90 degree angle. And trust me, you know, when you first do it, it sounds so easy when I say, you know, a 90 degree angle. But 
you actually have to watch what you're doing in order to be able to get it but it's going to take practice so don't get discouraged if you don't get it the first time um you know eventually you're going to actually know what to look for as you're doing it so you can do it correctly but do not get discouraged just keep trying it trust me when i first started um you know i was having problems and even not i wouldn't necessarily say when i started but if you go back to my old videos it's like you kind of just go in and shape the nails but i wasn't playing paying like close close attention to the way i was shaping so me paying attention to the shape and even after i'm done shaping the nails i like sit back and hold her their hand and look at the shape to make sure that they're all you know even that they're all the correct shape and that they're perfect um and that's what you want to do as well don't just go in there and shape and not worry about it make sure that you check your work after you do it to make sure that it's done correctly because your shape honestly is one of the most important things like it's either going to make or break your set but as you just seen me do i step back or not you know literally step back but i you know took a second to look at the nails and then i went on to the other hand so i'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this one and i'll be right back Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my primer. I'm using my Young Nail Protein Bond and we're applying that on the natural nail only. And then for my acrylic, I'm going to be using my Mia Secret in the color pink and also my clear and of course the Mia Secret Monomer. Um, it's going to be a whole bunch of different stuff. So I'm going to be doing the money nails, which you can find the fake money on Amazon and I'll be sure to leave the link down below. So I already pre-cut the money. Um, and of course, I'm using my Alpha Brush in a number 10, which is the one that I highly, highly recommend. Whether you're a beginner or someone that's been doing nails for a while, it's just the perfect size. I know it is for me but as you can see i'm doing a layer of the mia secret pink first and then after i have a nice layer i'm gonna go in and place the money over the acrylic while it's still a little wet that way it sticks to the nail and then we're gonna go in and apply the gold foil and then the mia secret clear acrylic to encapsulate the nails and also something else that i wanted to mention is that it really does not when you're doing polish over nails um it does not matter if you use clear if you use a translucent pink it's really just a personal preference so you always see me switch mostly most of the time i use just the mia secret pink because it's really translucent and once it dries you can barely even tell that it's you know somewhat pink so it's honestly just a personal preference whatever you prefer to use um i just i don't know like i just whenever i first started using mia secret like i just went with the translucent pink 
and it's just like i said a personal preference but as you can see i'm placing the money on the nail i am you know holding it down uh, so it stick to the nail and then i'm going in with the foil and then if you need to go in and apply a little bit of glue as well um to stick the money down that's completely fine but usually it should stick to the nail with it just being a little bit you know with the acrylic being a little bit wet it will stick to the nail but again if you need to apply glue that is fine and then once everything is nice and flat on the nail we're gonna go in with the mia secret clear and we're gonna encapsulate the nails remember that when you're encapsulating anything you want to make sure that everything is completely encapsulated in the nail because if not once you come back in to file you're gonna file away the money or the foil or whatever it is that you're encapsulating so you want to make sure that you pay attention to that and then of course making sure that you have a nice apex as well as a nice thickness at the tip so as you can see i'm working with a lot of product because the nails are a lot longer so um you know that way i'm not gonna sit here and be working all day so again this is more product than what i usually work with but if i was doing a, a short set then of course i would not be using this much acrylic but you want to make sure that especially because they're so long that you have that nice nice apex because if not the nails will break off within the same day Alrighty, so then after that, for the pinky, the ring finger, and the middle finger, we're just going to do the Mia Secret Pink because we are going to be applying polish over these. So it really does not matter if we use the clear or the pink. Um, but usually I like to save my clear because I use it to encapsulate the nails. And I never, like I always buy the big pound little container of the Mia Secret Pink pink um and i always just buy the smaller clear so i rather use up my pink so i don't run out of my clear if that makes sense but if you have a lot of clear that's completely fine if that's what you want to use again it's definitely a personal preference and again with these super long nails this is my first time doing some this long so as you can see i am just applying the acrylic and then also the most importantly looking at the nail from the side as i'm doing this to make sure that i have a nice apex and a nice thickness at the tips so our nails do not break off super easily and then also just making sure that as i'm doing this i'm brushing the acrylic down towards the tip really nice and smoothly that way the nail does not have any bumps and lumps and then also if you're still having problems with applying your acrylic really smoothly um i do have a video on liquid to powder ratio because if you are not using the correct amount of liquid and powder then your nails are either going to be too wet which is going to cause the nails to be super thin or too dry your acrylic will be too dry which will cause the nails to be really lumpy and bumpy so i again i do have a video on that so i'll be sure to leave the link down below for you guys um but just like shaping as i mentioned earlier it's all about you know practice and repetition so that's why we say you have to be patient you have to practice and you have to be dedicated but um as you can see i skipped over to the middle finger just because um i i think my phone wrong or something so and it stopped recording and i didn't realize it but we're doing the same thing um i'm not necessarily doing honestly i was not doing like my four ball method i was just focused on making sure that i had a good apex and a nice thickness at the tip that's why i keep saying it because i did not you know 
it would definitely take a lot more than four beads because they're so long but um, i'm gonna do the same thing on the rest of the nails on this hand and then we'll move on to the other hand Alrighty, so for this other hand, we're gonna do the Mia Secret Pink on this middle finger and the index finger as well. Um, and again, same process, just making sure that I have, I know I keep saying this, y'all, and y'all are gonna get tired of me, but making sure that I have a nice thickness and a nice apex. Thank you. 
Alrighty, so for the ring finger, I'm going to go in with the clear. So I'm going to do a layer of the clear over the entire nail. And then I'm going to go in with the money. I'm going to place it right like in the middle of the nail because I am going to polish the tip of this nail. Um, so just doing the uh, acrylic over the entire nail. That way the money will have something to stick to. And I'm not doing this coat too, like this bead of acrylic too thick. Just enough to where the um, money has something to basically sit on and then also as you guys know i like to do this that way next time whenever she comes in for a feel um i don't have to um you know take the nail off basically i can just file away anything that's encapsulated in the nail as well as the colored acrylic and then we can just fill it in with whatever other acrylic whether it's clear or you know different colored acrylic Alrighty, so once that is nice and flat on the nail, we're going to go ahead and go in with the clear and we're going to encapsulate this. And remember, you want to make sure that it is completely encapsulated and you will be able to tell if it's not because you still see it like sticking out of the nail. Um like any little corners and same thing with anything whether it's glitter whether it's whatever you're encapsulating you will be able to just look at the nail and tell if you need to add more acrylic because like for glitter it'll be shiny and once it's encapsulated it will look more dull and then for this you would just be able to see any little corners that are sticking out of the acrylic so just go in a little and add a little bit more wherever it's needed So for this pinky, we're going to do flames. So as you can see, same thing as I did on the ring finger. I'm just going in and applying a coat of the Mia Secret Clear Acrylic over the entire nail. And then I'm going to go in and apply the flames on there. I'm going to do like three different flames going down the nail. Um, and then coming back in and encapsulating them with the same Mia Secret Clear.
And then also, just like I did uh, with the money, if you need to go in and add a little bit of glue somewhere, that is completely fine. Just add wherever it's needed. Hold the little sticker or sticker or whatever it is down until it's glued. And then you can go in and encapsulate. Alrighty, so for this thumb, I'm going to do the Mia Secret Pink underneath as a base. And then I'm going to go in with a Soft White by Valentino. And then I'm going to use a pink glitter that I just mixed up on my own. It's literally just every pink glitter that I had in my drawer. And I just mixed them together and it's going to be an ombre. But I'm just doing a base of the Mia Secret Pink first. So again, next time when she comes back, if she wants to get rid of the ombre that's going to be on her thumb... We can just file away the colored acrylic and then we'll still have that Mia Secret Pink there. That way we don't have to do a new set because I know there are people that when they use colored acrylic, they don't do fills on it. They make you like take the whole set off and get a whole new set. So that's why I always do the pink underneath or clear. That way is something there, you know, whenever I file everything off. Um, but again, I'm just doing this Mia Secret soft pink and then I'm or sorry, soft white. And then I'm going in with this custom pink glitter that I just mixed up on my own. Again, it's just a whole bunch of pink glitters mixed together. And then once we have this ombre with the pink glitter and the white, I'm going to go back in and encapsulate this with the Mia Secret clear. Alrighty, so once we finish applying the acrylic, I'm going to go in with my 100-100 nail file. 
and I'm gonna be reshaping the nails um, as you guys know of course we already shaped them into the shape that we want but after we apply the acrylic it kind of leaves little rough edges on the sides or it just kind of takes away from the shape so we're just going in to redefine that shape but same thing going in at a 90 degree angle on the sides and the free edge as well Alrighty, so now I'm going to go in with my same Scarlet Melody Susie Nail Drill, which I highly, highly recommend. And I do have a link as well as a promo code for them. So I'll be sure to leave it down below. And then I'm using my um, Fine Drill Bed from Amazon. And this is a ceramic one. I like to use this one because it's not as sharp. So if you're a beginner and you're scared to use a drill because you think you're going to cut someone, I do recommend that you use the ceramic ones because, again, I feel like they're not as sharp. Um, but we're going to go in and file all of the nails as always going around the cuticle area first going from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth to make sure that there is no acrylic on the skin and that it's nice and sealed that way we don't get any lifting um, but again you want to make sure you focus around the cuticle area first and then as you can see we filed the rest of the nail as well but i'm able to apply my acrylic really smoothly now so i don't have to do much filing over the entire nail i only or i mainly focus around the cuticle area and then i still file the rest but i don't spend as much time on it now if you need to that is completely fine especially as a beginner i know it's a little bit harder to get the nails to be really nice and smooth so when that happens just spend more time you know of course filing around the cuticle area but also the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then also i've had people before just telling me like hey you know like i filed but the nails are still bumpy well if that happens the only thing you can do to get rid of those bumps is filing more whether it's with your hand file or your e-file whichever one you prefer but we're gonna go ahead and finish doing this on all of the nails again filing around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side going back and forth until the nail is nice and smooth and until you're able to see where the cuticle is where the natural nail is and where the acrylic is um, and that's pretty much it and then also I'm using my drill at 10,000 rpms that's another thing that remember you know you don't have to use it at 10,000 rpms because that's what I use it on just use it at whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at um, you know no matter if it's slower or faster just whatever you are okay with Thank you. 
Alrighty, so now we're going to go in with the buffer and this is going to get rid of any of those scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. So make sure that you buff those nails really, really good because you don't want to be able to see any scratches through your polish. Um, after we finish doing this, we're going to go ahead and just dust the nails off, wipe them off with an alcohol wipe and then move on to the polish. Also remember that you want to always use um, the same nail file and or sorry that a new buffer and file on each client again let me repeat that again you always want to use a new buffer and hand file on all of your clients so make sure that after each set or after each client you dispose of your nail file and your buffer i always do that but you specific if, even if you if it's not something that you do you want to make sure that you are doing that right now because of this coronavirus you want to make sure that you clean your table and your chair in between your clients the doorknobs wash your hands and also even sanitize um you know when you're working um but as you can see now i'm just going in and wiping the nails off with an alcohol wipe and then after this we're going to go in with the polish so for my polish i'm going to be using quite a few different ones some are going to be by madam glam others are going to be by dnd um, but i'll be sure to list them the first one that i'm using is actually by color club and this is the polish that i always use as the base for my bling you already go, you already know that when i'm using this polish it's going to be a blink out net bling blinked out nail uh so we are going to bling this nail out that is a regular polish so i'll only do one coat this one is a pink by madam glam as you guys know i do have a promo code for them so i'll be sure to leave that down below for you guys and this is in the color florist and it's a really really pretty hot pink color as you can see i'm just doing the back of the nail so basically like a reverse french tip so i'm just doing the pink first and then i'm gonna go ahead and kind of extend that um like that smile line right there with my little brush and then um, we're gonna cure this before we go in and do the white I'm using my cleanup brush that I got on Amazon if I can find it I'll be sure to leave the link below but I know before when I like linked it it said that the brush was no longer available so I don't know what that was about but for the pinky I used just a sheared pink I just needed a base for the ombre you guys know that I when I do ombre with the sponge I always use regular nail polish so I needed something just for that polish to stick to some people use white but I just like to use that clear and the color still stands out a lot but for this thumb I'm going in with that same pink in the color floors by DND or sorry by Madam Glam and I'm using my small nail art brush and even though it doesn't look like it just yet this nail is going to be a pair or not a pair but some lips and with the tongue out and yeah so um just bear with me as i try to draw it um i'm not a really good artist i can sometimes look at a picture and be able to recreate it um but yeah just bear with me and you'll be able to tell that it's lips but when i do stuff like this i have to do each color separately because it is gel polish um so as you can see i'm gonna go ahead and just do the pink first and then i'm gonna go in and add the white for the teeth and then the black and then the other pink for the tongue so um you know it takes a little bit of work
Alrighty, so next I'm going to go in with the sponge and I already applied the polish on the sponge and it's just uh, Fuchsia Touch by D&D and Dutch Orange also by D&D and these are regular nail polishes. Once I did that, I went ahead and did a second coat of this and this dries really fast. So I went right back over it with the same colors just to make sure that the colors were nice and bright. And then don't worry about getting it, getting it, getting it on the skin. I'm just going in with a brush, dipped it in acetone and cleaning around the cuticle area. And these or this nail, I actually will just have to let it air dry because again it is regular nail polish and that is how i do my ombre nails but we're gonna go ahead and let that hand cure and we're gonna come back to or come to this hand so for this one i'm doing a french tip with the pink so as you can see i did the small line with the small nail art brush and then i'm going in and filling in the rest of the tip and then if you need to go in with your cleanup brush that is completely fine Alrighty, so next for this middle finger, we're going to go in with that same pink and we're just going to polish this entire nail. And then for the index finger, we're going to go in with the Madame Glam Perfect White and we're going to do that over the entire nail as well. Um, again, I do have a promo code for Madame Glam, so I'll be sure to leave that information down below. Alrighty, so now we're gonna go in and cure that hand and then we're gonna come back in and do a second coat on this other hand so I'm doing a second coat of this one which is the floors um, the pink and then I'm gonna go in with the perfect white at the tip and usually you want to wait until you cure the pink so that way the pink does not bleed onto the white which it did a little bit but then I'm gonna go in and do a second coat of the pink so it's not gonna be too noticeable Alrighty, and then now I'm going to go in with the white and I'm basically is going to be for the teeth. So I'm just going to go in and do the line straight across and fill in that in. And then also I'm going to go ahead and outline the entire outside of the lips with the Madame Glam uh, Perfect Black. And usually I never, well, I don't like... Um, like when I'm using gel polish and, I, and I'm doing nail art like this, you don't want to do like two colors that intersect with each other at the same time. So as you can see, like the pink's already cured, so they're, um, you know, it's not going to bleed together, but I would not do the pink and then go in with the black right away because they bleed into each other. So that's why you have to go in and cure each color as you go. But since the black and the pink, or sorry, the black and the white do not touch at all um that's why i went ahead and did both of them but now i'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat on this hand as well and then we'll come back to the other one Alrighty, so for this one, I'm going to go in, since the white is cured, I'm going to go in and just draw the little lines for the teeth. I'm going to go ahead and draw the line across as well at the top and the bottom. And then once I cure this, I'm going to come back in 
and draw the what's supposed to be the tongue and that's going to be like a lighter pink um, and then also i like to keep my little brush with acetone handy if i need to go in and basically erase something i can especially since we did you know gel polish um you'll be able to remove anything that's not cured yet and then for this one i'm going in and doing the cow print which has been really popular lately and i like to do it with a dotting tool because when you're doing this you don't want to just do like perfect circles or anything you want to kind of just you know move it around as you're doing this so doing it with a dotting tool is perfect it takes a lot longer when you're doing it with a brush so i do recommend that you use a dotting tool when you're doing this it'll make your life so much easier um and then next i'm gonna go in and we're gonna go with the one in the middle and we're just gonna do a bandana set and i think i told you guys at the beginning but the reason why we're doing like something different on each nail is because these are different these nails are from different sets that she found that she liked and we just put like 10 different pictures into one set um because she was so excited to come get her nails done she didn't know what to get so we ended up just doing a little bit of everything um, but i love doing sets like this they're just so different um and then i love the length i i personally couldn't wear it but she'd be rocking the hell out of those nails but this one again is going to be like the bandana and a paisley uh, design so as you can see i'm using my brush i'm using my dotting tool and then i'm also going to go in with the white um and this again is all gel polish Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and let that hand cure and then we're gonna go on to the other hand and we're gonna do the cow print on this middle finger as well except for we're only doing it on the tip Alrighty, so now back to this thumb. So now I'm going in with a lighter nudish pinkish color and I'm just going to do the tongue. So as you can see, I'm just going in and outlining it and then filling it in as I go. And then I still have to come back in and outline the tongue as well to actually make it look like a tongue. Um, so once I cure this, I'm, I'll come back to it one more time and then that'll be it um and then now i'm going in with the soleil nail adhesive and i'm applying the bling um so i'm really the bling is just going to be random because as i was adding she was just kind of telling me where to add it um but again this is the soleil nail adhesive i'm using my wax pencil my ab ss6 and ss12 
Alrighty, so now going back to this one. So as you can see, I'm just going in and outlining the tongue. And it just looks so much better once I outlined it. You can actually tell what it is. Um, and I was actually really, really proud of my little lips. Like they turned out a lot better than I was expecting because I hadn't done any in a while. And then for it to be my first day back working since two months ago, like y'all, I did my thing with this set. Uh, but anyways, after we finish doing this um, design, I'm going to go ahead and blink out this middle finger, or sorry, this ring finger. So again, going in with the Soleil nail adhesive. And because it's so long, I'm going to apply some bigger pieces in the middle. So I'm doing the... Um, big again the big pieces right in the middle and then i'm gonna fill in the rest of the nail with the ab ss6 and ss12 you guys know that as i'm doing this i'm alternating between the two different sizes to fill in the gaps as i go Alrighty, so for this one, I'm just going to outline the cuticle area with the bling. Um, and then again, really the rest of the bling is just going to be random. She wanted bling on each nail, so I'm just going to randomly go in and apply some. For this one, at first, I'm only going to do the, like, the small line with the bling. And then she wants me to come back in and just do like random ones um, on the white, like the white empty spots. I'm going to go in and add pink um bling on there Alrighty, so I sprayed the hurry up spray to help the glue dry a lot faster. And then for this ring finger, I'm going to go ahead and apply the Madam Glam matte top coat. I believe it's like the velvet top coat. Um, and then I'm going to go in and do the black drip, but she did want the base to be matte. Um, and then we're going to move on to the other hand. So for this one, I'm just going to do bling um, around the cuticle area um, with some pink ones and then also more pink ones scattered around the nail. All 
All right, so for the other three nails, um, she wants bling on these as well, but I don't want to take away too much from the design. So I'm just going to do some around the cuticle area on all three, or yeah, on these two, which is the middle finger and the index finger. And same thing for the thumb, except for the thumb, I'm going to scatter them um, around or throughout the entire nail. Alrighty, so now for this one, since the matte top coat is cured, we're going to go in with the black drip. So as you can see, first I do like a dot and then I drag it up towards the top. So again, just doing my dot and then dragging it up towards the top, to, towards the cuticle area and then kind of connecting them in the middle. I um, mean, you will see me doing it here in a second, but just do your drips first and then you go in and connect them wherever you want um, and just fill in that area at the back. Alrighty, so I'm going to let that cure and then I'm going to go in with the Madam Glam Gel Top Coat on this hand. And then we're going to go back and do some more bling on the other hand and then the Madam Glam Gel Top Coat.
Okay, so we let that hand cure, and then this is her just giving y'all a little pre-show of this one hand y'all they look so good like this length looks so good on her like it's super long wretched and ghetto but y'all i love it so now i'm just going in with the cuticle oil and here is the final look so as always they turned out super super pretty they're y'all they're just so different it's just so her so um as always i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe follow me on instagram and twitter at getno32 and i'll see you guys next time